Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective figure card for whoever is meant to watch this. You guys are receiving an apology or have some type of, I heard polarity, maybe you have met someone that's your divine counterpart, or you're really connecting to your higher self. I feel like the energy of Mother Gaia also, you're going through a spiritual transformation, you're connecting, you're one with spirit. For some it's love or an apology, I'm also getting there's a lot of happiness. Your chakras, your realignment is being restored here with your solar plexus. Some of you could be pregnant, not all. There's a lot of happiness here. You're stepping into the horizon. You're taking that leap of faith to embrace who you are. Some of you guys are taking a spiritual journey to the underworld, connecting to the void within. You're facing your demons. You're healing energetically is what I'm seeing. You're doing a lot of shadow work with the Five of Cups. I'm getting Mary Magdalene, like a martyr. Mother Teresa, like you're starting to apologize to yourself. You're forgiving you're letting go of who you are. You're shedding old skin with the Ten of Cups. You're getting very emotional because you realize how much love and light that you have. You're being reactivated. I'm hearing Reiki attunement or a spiritual knowledge that's going to make you sad with tears of joy. It's like sadness that you're purging will transmute into something positive with the Wheel of Fortune. You're webbing a weave. You could have the spirit animal of the spider for some, not all. I know you don't like spiders, whoever I'm reading for, but it's like their energy, their hard workers are determined. They're creating their, they weave their web of creativity of their future for their home. You're protecting your space. Your body is your temple. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's a lot of changes that are happening. With the Page of Cups, you're letting go of the past. You're forgiving yourself is what I'm seeing. You're open to new endeavors. You're healing your heart chakra. You're no longer connecting to toxic energies or entities is what I'm seeing. The Ten of Pentacles, you've left some type of offering to your family, to your spiritual team. There's a bouquet of flowers here, either at a gravesite or literally on your altar, but it's being well received with the Knight of Swords, it's allowing your angels and guides, your spiritual animals to come forward. Some of you guys connect with this Pegasus or Unicorn, the spirit animal of the horse is very significant, talking about strength and resilience, the ability to move on and let go of the past. I do see you traveling, you're going through an awakening, you're taking a soul's journey of enlightenment, like a... The Virgo, like a nomad, the hermit card is what I'm hearing. You are connecting to your higher self, mind, body, and spirit, darkness and light, but I heard light and dark, yin and yang. You're doing some shadow work. You're balancing out divine, masculine, and feminine energies. You're accepting who you are, your shadow side. You're becoming more energetically balanced here, somehow, some way. Things are going to be changing. If you're doing some type of past life regression, a journey into the unknown, a soul's journey, it's going to be very emotional, but very fulfilling with the Two of Cups. It's like you are going to connect to your higher self, and it's going to bring a lot of healing. For some, you have retrieved your spirit of love and light. The Page of Wands, it's like now you are open to hearing and receiving the energies of the angels, the archangels. You have Goddess Bastet here. Some of you guys are witches in a past life, and you're healing that aspect of the past life regression that you've dealt with. If you were heavily burdened or stressed out with being tormented or being persecuted in the past the hand of god is helping you heal this dynamic of sadness with the six of pentacles you are becoming one with spirit is what i'm seeing there's a lot of union of happiness this card flipped over by itself and this is the six of inspiration the six of wands you're moving forward you are accepting the healing energy from your spiritual team your angels your ancestors and your guides i just saw three 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 so you're definitely connecting to the love of self here you're going through a spiritual awakening. You're really connecting to your love and light within you. It is a blessing here with the Knight of Cups. It's like your spiritual team bows to you in reverence. Maybe you were royalty in a past life. You are this horse. You are the strength of this spirit animal. You're being rejuvenated. You're going through a glow up with the sun like the morning star is what I'm hearing. With the Nine of Cups, this will be helping you rejuvenate, feeling very much in the energy of love, self-love, peace, and elevation of spiritual enlightenment. You are the wish that you asked for. The answers that you seek are within you. Water is very inspirational or the sound of running water. You're washing away emotions with the Seven of Cups. You're starting to realize that you are the light that you seek. Some of you guys are connected to a past loved one. They are within you. When you meditate, you can feel their messages. They are part of you in spirit. Marigolds are significant. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or this is you feeling emotional over the fact that you didn't realize how much you could actually be so strongly of a clear audience person. You actually hear the messages of your ancestors, 444. This is a very spiritual reading, very much connected to enlightenment. It's very beautiful. And then the last card here is the Seven of Pentacles. It's been a long journey that you've had to dealt with, but you finally reached that 
pinnacle, that point of transformation. The seeds that you've planted are finally coming into fruition with the magician because you are in control of your emotions with regards to how you manifest. You're a strong manifester. There's a strong awakening here. You've leveled up somehow, some way. I heard the North Star or the fourth placement in your birth chart is significant. Fourth house of stability and structure, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But really connecting to your soul star. Some of you guys are connecting to star seeds or light beings and you're just so much like a sh shocked. I heard appalled. Like people are going to be upset. Your enemies are upset that you're reaching that energy of enlightenment. Eight, the infinite wisdom is being given to you, granted to you. You've completed some type of initiation on a divine level. This is only between you and your higher power is what I'm hearing with spirit. Five, 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 significant changes in a positive way. You don't have to brag about it. I'm hearing you're just going to be about it. Some of you guys are rappers or you're poets. Very creative. Your words and rhymes are significant to the divine with your divination practices. Only you will know. But you're being illuminated. You're being guided. The light is here within you. Your body is your temple. You are replenishing your soul. Some of you guys are drinking more water, eating healthier. But there is a realignment of the chakras here for your highest good. So that's what I have for you, Collective. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Tap on the notifications button. Comment down below if this was helpful. Thank you for the support and the donations and all the blessings that you send my way. I send you many blessings as well. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.